Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a haul for you all. I like how that sounds, haul for you all. That's why I keep on saying it. If it irritates you, I'm really, really sorry. So, uh, I, first of all, I'm sorry for not filming so frequently. I last uploaded my video a week back and that was a giveaway. So, if you haven't already taken part in it, please do ahead and take part in my giveaway. You have awesome prize to win because I got hurt on my hand and then... <clears throat> I just wanted to take a little bit of rest. It's a week from then and now I'm completely fine. Yuckers. So yes, today I'm going to be doing a haul. Uh, so yes, let's get started with the haul. I'm going to start first with the jewelry section because it's not that much. If you can see behind me, a whole lot of clothes kept out for you. So yes, it's more of like a huge clothing haul but I have a lot of jewelry and makeup stuff as well. So let's just get started with the haul. So first of all, I got myself some earrings first one is this it's like this uh, golden uh, triple uh, concentric circles with a rhinestone um, embellish embellishment in the first and the last circle I hope you can see that it's really really pretty I really really liked how that looked then I got another pair of earrings this one is silver and it's uh, also like circles and it has rhinestones entrusted and this part right here is dangly it's not attached so it's really really dangly and really really pretty then I got these earrings which match my dress for my sister's engagement the pretty green stone uh, that was the color of my gown and it's oxidized silver I'll just show you one piece first then I got some flower earrings. One is in this really baby pinkish color. Really, really pretty color. Then the same piece in black as well. I had a white one as well, but I can't find it. And another flower earring in, but it's sunflower type. Then I also got these three earrings which I'm wearing in my ears right now. They're just plain studs. A red, green and a blue one in the conch. Hope you can see that as well. Um, next I got some rings. This first, this one which I wear daily right now. It's just this plain band with the diamond in the center. It's really classy and I really really find it cool. Then someone gifted me these three rings. I'll just show you one by one. It's just a plain golden band with uh, two rows of diamonds, tiny little diamonds. Then one is uh, this plain little uh, diamond in the middle and the third one is the solitaire and then I got uh, these two pretty dainty bangle, diamond bangles with really pretty small, it's very very dainty, it looks very very dainty really pretty just plain bangles and then keeping in accessory, keeping in mind the accessories I got myself some fake glasses. I have really nice eyesight, so don't worry about that. So I just uh, got them because I found them to look really good on me. So I first got this one from a uh, optical store near me. That's Netra Indra Jindranagar if you know if you've ever been there. Then I got these ones from Netra only. And the third one which I'm most excited about is this one which I got from Claire's which has a moustache. I'm going to just keep on wearing these because I find them really cute and a moustache is a really big trend. I got moustache bag as well so don't judge me. <laughs> right so that was for accessory. No, I got this bracelet from Max which says peace. It's from Jewels I guess or Max Jewels. I guess it's from Jewels or Pretty One, Pretty Woman. I'm really confused but yeah I got this bracelet. And it's just that uh, pull up pull down thing with a pink cord and it has peace written on it. Really cute. So that was for the jewelry. Let's move on to the makeup. Alright. So first of all, as I told you, I went to Claire's as you can see from these glasses. I got their little eyeshadow books which I love. One of them my sister gifted to me and found these to be so cute. First one is this like this envelope, uh, envelope. Just like it looks, uh, it's from Claire's. It looks like someone is traveling. All right, and when you open the envelope you have all pretty shades 
I hope you can see the shades. Uh, it has a plastic cover on top, which is uh, kind of stuck right now. So I don't want to open it, but it has a brush, uh, like a flat brush and a sponge tip applicator. And the colors vary from nudes to darker nudes and a reddish kind of coralish color and two teal and sea greenish color, which is really, really pretty. I hope you can see the colors. And it's just this, uh, it opens up like this. It's really, really cute. Then I got another book from Claire's. This is the Glitzy Eyes book. And it is so cute. It has a black eyeshadow, matte black, a silver, a white glitter eyeshadow and a silver eyeshadow. And it has a duo mascara with a glitter mascara and a black one. It has an eyeliner and a brush and a sponge applicator. So I'll just show it to you. I hope you can see that as well. Both of these books are from Claire's, so if you want, you can go to Claire's and check these out. Then I received the May Star Looks box, which I think I would be reviewing right now after this video. So don't worry if you see me like this again, because I think I would be, I'm in a filming mood today. I can speak today. So yes, this is how it looks. I have already uh, recorded its unboxing, and if you have seen my previous videos, you know I have been using the items of the box crazily. So what this... Um, what this box comes with is a brow shader which you know I have been using in my videos a lot these days the brow shader looks like this it has a brush which is really nice for a change and the shades are like this the staple shades it has a mirror right here as well and the packaging is very very sleek I really really like the packaging that's the brow shader Then you have a blush, cream, creme blush, cream blush, creme blush in the shade Emphasize. I really, really love this blush as a contour blush for me. I'll just swatch the shade for you. Oh, bloody hair. Hope you can see that. It's a really pretty blush with excellent, it's an excellent quality blush. And once it just blends into your skin and you use appropriate amount, it's a very pretty contour shade. It's a very natural contour shade, I think so. And then there's a pigment luster in the color Cinnamon Toss. The quality of this pigment is amazing. You just need a little bit and just spreads all over. Why am I reviewing it in this video only? No idea. I'll just swatch it for you. That's Cinnamon Toss the lower one it's a very beautiful shade and then the box also comes with a cute little zebra print file keeping in touch with the zebra print box uh, it's a really pretty mini file i haven't used this one so we won't say much about this so yeah, that was the Star Looks May box. Then I got uh, this uh, lip balm from Pab India, which I also gifted to someone because he needed it desperately. Uh, really, I'll just show it to you from inside. It smells so delicious. It's colorless. And that's the packaging. And it smells just delicious. It's in fruity vanilla flavor, if you can see the card. I got it from Pab India. Pab India's lip Bombs and all the natural products like creams and all are amazing. You should give it a try. So yes, that's the lip balm right there. And then I got this lip luscious color in Berry Bellini, Bellini, Berry Bellini uh, from Bath and Body Works. It's really, really pigmented color. I'll swatch it for you. You can't see it on my hand, I guess. But if you can, if you look closely, you see the color. And then on lips, it looks even more because we have pink lips. So, yes. It's, it's really long-lasting. It just doesn't fade out. I have problems with glosses. That they just kind of, I don't know, where do they go in like half an hour and one hour. But this stayed on for like four or six good hours. So, I really, really like recommend this. It's from Bath & Body Works in the shade Berry Bellini Lip Luscious. Alright. Then I got uh, two eyeshadows from Inglot. One is matte black, 63, and the other is uh, pearl, 446. I'll swatch it for you. Black one, you know I have been using in my videos because black, uh, a matte black is a must in anyone's uh, makeup collection. That's the matte black. 
and it's really really uh, you know it's very pigmented shade it just it just stains my finger so yeah that's the pigmentation for you and then i got this one it's a pearl it has a, a iridescent uh, it just changes is that one that reflects light it's kind of that uh, eyeshadow it's a purplish shade which just reflects light really prettily i hope you can see that then i got three lipsticks from inglot as well i'm a kind of on a uh, saving spree so i am not getting much of makeup not saving basically basically says that my mom and dad have given me ultimatum that you need to just clear out your wardrobe and your makeup drawer before getting more because there's no space left because i just tend to just uh, keep even the things that have just slight slight little bit left and i tend to keep it on like i'll use it later and i don't finish it up and they just occupy the space so yeah i'm kind of i have to clear it out first and then i can have permission to buy more makeup so yeah i got three shades one this one is 69 these are really really pretty shades by inglot it's like a hot pink i'll swatch it for you see how pretty that color is the last one how pretty is that inglot lipsticks are my favorite they are so long lasting they and you can eat in them as as in like i am a person when i apply lipstick i eat the lipstick and it's not there in 2 hours but this doesn't get eaten up then the next one is shade number 64 it's like this um pink with brownish on the tones i swatch it i actually have a problem in defining colors you can see that one it's right here pretty these colors go really well with indian skin tones that's why i got them the next one is in the shade 45 it's like this rusty browny pinky ready color <gasps> yeah that's how i define colors i'll just swatch and you can see see that one the upper one right here this one pretty color reddish it has a reddish it's a warm brownish red something 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 yes then i got i'll just take them all out and then i'll show it to you yeah it's all out so yes i got this um bronzer brush or this is basically a kabuki baby bouki kabuki kabuki brush from QVS it's really really dense i can't, i'm dying to try it out but i wanted to show you the packaging and all as well it's from QVS and it's really dense and it is natural fiber and that's how the brush looks like then i got another brush this is uh, the perfection brush dual ended concealer and foundation and this is nylon bristles it has a foundation and a concealer it's dual ended if you can see that again from QVS then from QVS i got their uh, exfoliating gloves it's a pair one size fits all and you can just uh, what exfoliating gloves are you just wear them in hands and you just you can exfoliate your body well and uh, i've heard very good things about this so i'm really 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 looking forward to trying this out this is their normal uh, exfoliating gloves then i got from qvs again uh, this lant scissor tweezer for beauty purposes and basically what these do is that when you are holding tweezers they were they not very comfortable right they just dent your fingers and i hate that so but scissors one it becomes a little easier because you have a better grip i want to try these all out so badly you don't know so i got that then i got um, blackhead remover dual ended needle and loop you know when i were when I, when i were whenever i see like any section which has brushes and these tools i go berserk i just say i want it all i have to tell myself that shreya you don't need these brushes keep them back so yes that's a little bit of problem with me so yes i got this dual ended blackhead remover and i do know how to use this so if you want to know a video on how to remove blackhead using 
the needle and loop system you can just comment below and i would love to do that i don't think i would love to but yeah i would <laughs> just kidding so then next i got this avon footwork double action foot pile it's just this plain foot pile i'll open it up because the plastic packaging might be blocking the view it's just this normal foot pile i use i've been using this for years and uh, just the whenever this exfoliating part just wears off i have to order a new one it's double action means here it's textured and here it's like a uh, you know scrubbing stone you miss stone type so yeah i got that one just very good for your soles when you want to scrub your feet and really have them softened up uh then next i got this a1 essential grooming kit no this is the packaging the grooming kit is inside it's really really cute it's really small and really good for travel purposes uh that's how it looks like that's that that's how small it is compared to my face so yeah uh what it has inside is inside looks like something like this and um it has this cool feature you saw that that's why i say it's really good for traveling so what it has is um a file it's all miniature i love miniature things that's why i go just berserk as i told you a tweezer i found me i find miniature things to be so cute i so i just buy it even though i don't even need it basically then there's this toe nail cutter yeah there's a specialized toe nail cutter who knew and then there's a is scissors for i think cuticle cutter cuticle cutter and then there's a normal nail file a uh, nail cutter and it all is in this box that cuteness all right i think that made up for all the accessories makeup and tools Let's now next move on to clothes, and I'll just stand up while telling you this. So the first thing I'll show to you guys are the bags. No, the accessories are not done. I have bags. Yes, I got this mustache bag. How cute is that mustache? No, I really don't do that peace sign. Uh, so I'll just stand because that's much how I love you guys to show you what all stuff I got. So I got this really cute mustache bag. It's striped from inside. Hope you can see that, and it's just mustache, different mustaches. I got that. Then I got this handbag from Oriflame. It has a really cute print on it. It's nude in color. I've been using it crazily, and it's really spacious. Yeah, really like that. And no, it wasn't free with anything. I bought this thing. All right. So moving on to clothes. Okay. The first stop. I got was this one is why is it inside out? Sorry, this one is from Vero Moda. It's just this plain black sheer top. I've been loving sheers recently, and I've got a lot of sheers even in this haul. So sheer black top, plain, just it has button detailings, silver buttons. Otherwise, it's just a sheer sleeveless plain black top. Then. another sheer peach top again from vero moda it has collar de uh, shoulder detailings with these three four stars four stars i hope you can see them or should i come inside so okay, sorry for that <laughs> i'm really sorry for that i have these crazy outburst moments i'm really sorry if you found me crazy so yes this is the top peach colored Really pretty. Then I got this top from Only. It's sheer from behind and it's net. Uh, sorry, lace in front. I hope you can see that. Really pretty. Then I got uh, this dress from Runway. It's just this normal black dress. Looks like this and it has a keyhole behind. I'll just show you. Got this one from Runway. Then I'll be talking dresses and shears. I'll just show you my dress for my sister's engagement. It was a gown, high low rise gown. It has a under dress as well. It was teal in color. I'll just not show you the under dress. I'll show you the gown, which was sheer. 
looks like this it has a lower back and a uh, the front that it looks like this yes it's full length from back and it was cut uh, below a little below to the knees from the front the belt that came with it the, the belt that came with it looks something like this but i thought it made things a little too casual so i got a bent ahead and i got another belt this was swarovski encrusted belt it's a swarovski encrusted belt i'll just show you which things which made my gown look much more dainty and classier i just tied it across my um empire line i wasn't able to remember and brace i was remembering what i was saying again i don't know why empire line so i'll just show you other tops as well then sheer again sheer this printed sheer top i love the print it's so cute it has bird it has flowers it has everything floral and the color is so pretty turquoise and it's sheer sheer coral and teal color has been attracting me so much this season i can't tell you guys and then i got this again another sheer top oh, it's white and i got this basically because of the collar detailing if you can see it has pearl detailing only on the collar nowhere else and it just sits around like that and sheer white and it looks really really pretty and very classy and lady like okay i am really sorry for that is that crazy me then i went to levois and i got three tops from levois first is this one it's a nautical striped top and it has a pocket detailing it's plain from the front but in the back you have a um, little bit of detailing with the red uh, zigzag pattern and the stripes changing then i got this really cute top which uh, basically says happiness is levois shopping sleeping on a hammock holiday Yeah, pearls. Then I got this black hope from Levi's, and it is basically has it basically has sequins detailing in a cross. Black is my favorite, so it's an alright. Then next I went to Bussini, and from there I just got this top, which says um, nothing but trouble. Hello, trouble. and it has stud detailing on the sleeve nothing but trouble i like that line kind of suit me very much then i went ahead and okay i got this top which has just a little neck detailing with a brass um what you say this something some detailing This is a little bit of plain detailing. Teal, I just told you, is attracting me so very much. Then I got three same tops in different colors. These are like my workout clothes because it's just a plain top. Nothing doing, just a simple V-neck. So these are my workout clothes. So I just got some new workout colors. Coral. As I told you, teal coral is attracting me this time. And a pink one. Yes. that's that then i went to uspa that is united uh, states polo association i guess i said that right and again i forgot to show you this is in the accessories it's just this scarf and neon is really really in but i am basically not that sporty to go all out neon so i got this scarf to be on trend and still be myself so this is a polka dot neon <laughs> i'm sorry polka dot and neon polka dot and a scarf pretty cute right all right then uh, from united nation polo association i got some lowers um this is a black pant or jeans i don't know just really plain i like plain lowers i'm not a more jazzy lower person 
and it's just um, a little pocket detailing of. This. They have their basic um, polo club um, detailing on the back pockets, and just USB written here and a little stud on the front. Yeah, that's that. The second one I got was jeans, normal dark blue jeans with another just detailing a little bit it has double buttons oh where am i showing <laughs> it has double buttons and a little bit of stud detailing here and back again their normal polo clubs detailing mine is um this is waist 28 yeah 28 super skinny not showing off my slimness. New pound slimness. And then I got these ones. They are coral. My obsession this season. So yes, this is coral and they're just pleated from here if you can see them and it has a floral detailing just right there on the pocket. Pleated pants. And these are kind of my first colored pants because I told you I'm not a full out a uh, jazzy person I can't be that but I did still bought these because I really like the colour and how it was looking on me so yeah got these pants and then oops let me just pull out the chair again I almost forgot to show you shoes oh uh, there are only two but still I got these heels new and red a really nice combo Just a second. I really found this combo to be unusual. And this is from Isis. You get them from West Side. I got mine from West Side because I was actually looking for nude flats because I'm going to call it a nude or something. I have one nude flat from uh, O2 O2 or it's. No, mine nude flats are from. And. I think it's from and no i'm getting it all wrong i'll just show i'll just see and i'll tell you later if i feel like but i was looking for nude flats and i'm not getting them anywhere those were really nice but they just kind of broke so i just got these nude heels and i picked them up from my side because they were like very cheap i guess the price tag is not there anymore but it was cheap so i got them because i found the color combination to be unusual and then i got flats these floral flats Ah, how cute is them? Again from West Side, this is from Head Over Heels. And they have this cute bow detailing and the floral print is really pretty. And they're flats. Yes. So yes, I think that is all. That is what all I shopped in the past 2-3 weeks. Uh, no, I forgot one clothing item. Uh, my friend from my aerobics class went to US and she got this top for me. Really love her. The top is really really cute it's just this really cute loose fitting um, cream colored top with button detailing thank you so much i really really love this top so yes i think that is now all yes so yes that was my haul for you all i said it again i'm so sorry and i hope you enjoyed this haul next would be a review which i would be filming right now on the star looks box I'll film it right now only I'm in the mood and uh, so yes this should go up on Wednesday if not then it will go up on Friday uh, positively but I'll try Wednesday my best so if today's Wednesday and you're watching it then you should know that my next video will be up on Friday that is day after tomorrow so I will see you day after tomorrow till then take care bye